How do we avoid regret? Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning family member, thank you. Guys, remember to do all that fun stuff. Check me out on Instagram, the link's below. Let's jump into this video. One of the worst things we have as humans is regretting different things and situations that we've gone through in life. So it's kind of important to create habits, rituals, and systems to try to avoid regret as much as possible. There is going to be some regrets, you know, we wish we could go back to that day and do it differently or wish we could take that test again or we wish we could talk to that person differently or something or take a different route or a path or whatever. In today's video, we're going to talk about the eight things to do in your 20s to avoid regret in your 30s and 40s. Let's jump in. The first thing you can do is build solid eating habits and health habits, including working out, walking, eating right, making sure you're getting your water intake, not drinking too much alcohol or caffeine. This is very important because a lot of people in their early 20s do not eat right, do not take care of themselves, do not drink enough water, don't walk, don't exercise. And it's important to make that habit because basically if you make the habits now in your early 20s and your 30s, then for the rest of your life, you're gonna have a better longevity of life and a better quality of life. So it's important, that's the first one. Making sure you create healthy habits. All right guys, number two, choosing who you spend your time with. The people you spend your time with are so important because they're the people you're gonna hang out with. They're the people that you're gonna create the habits with. They're the, they're the people you're gonna travel with. Those are the people you're gonna do life with. So it's important to pick solid people in the beginning to try to make your life better because honestly, people are like your emergency fund for life. We have like an emergency fund for money, but then in life you have your friends, you have your family, so it's important to pick. You can't pick your family, but you can definitely pick your friends, your mentors, have some mentors, have a good group of friends you hang out with. Your significant other obviously is another big choice that you have to make, but just making sure you're around solid people that are good for you, that are kind, that are caring, that work hard, that are trying to be successful. Making sure that people have the same morals and values as you is gonna be vital for success in your life over the long term. All right guys, number three, understand that nobody has it all figured out. We're all trying to figure out different things on a day-to-day -day basis. It's important to understand that and say to yourself, oh, we all have our issues, we all have our demons, we all have our good days, we all have our bad days. It's okay to have bad days, we all have we all have them, it's, it's fine. People don't have it all figured out and you have to take it one day at a time. Continue to be coachable, learn, be kind to other people, try new things, experience different things, and just try to learn as you go through life. And just, you know, be kind to yourself. Be kind, be good. But yeah guys, nobody has it all figured out. All right guys, number four. This honestly might be the most important one, is communication skills. Oh my gosh. Making sure you're talking to people, learning about communication, practicing communication. It's so important because it's the foundation of everything we do in life. And I've learned all the successful people that I've met, all the people that I've seen do big things in life, they all have great communication skills in a relationship, right, in a relationship. You wanna have great communication skills with your significant other, so it's very important to have good communication skills, and if you can create that habit early in life, you'll have a huge advantage, because most people don't like to talk to people, most people can't communicate well, because in this new generation, we have phones, we have iPads, we have social media, we have TV, we're always on a screen or watching something, so we're not communicating with each other, so if you can break that paradigm and say, I'm gonna to talk to new people every day, I'm gonna be put myself out there, I'm gonna get lunch with my friend, I'm gonna to talk to my mom, I'm gonna to talk to these people, I'm gonna be open because then it helps your communication skills and I'm telling you, all the super successful people in the world all have great communication skills. So it's important to polish your communication skills in your early 20s because that's gonna be a lifelong skill that you're gonna have forever and it's one of the most important things you can do in life is if you're a good communicator, there's a lot of things you can do in life just by doing that, simply by doing that. It's important and it's a very good skill to learn. Number five, traveling as much as you can. This is so important. I believe that when you travel, you see different cultures, you see different ways of life. It helps you grow and mature as a person. I mean, I've got a lot more growing and maturing to do as myself, but it's important to travel, see the world, see the US, see Canada, see Mexico, see all these different places, see Europe. Just go experience different foods, different cultures. You know, everybody has different things around the world and culture is extremely different from, from America to other countries, to Europe, to Africa, to Asia, to all these different countries and continents and all that fun stuff. Traveling as much as you can is important because in the long term that's gonna help you grow and mature as a person. So that is number five, travel as much as you possibly can. 
Alright guys, number six, don't be afraid to express your emotions. I think a lot of people hold stuff in and I don't think that's healthy. So it's okay to come out, express your emotions, express how you're feeling, express how you're doing, because it's important. Because if you hold everything in for a long time, then you're just gonna bottle up and explode one day. So it's not good to do that. So it's important to talk to people about how you feel, how you're doing mentally, physically, emotionally, all that fun stuff. And I, and I don't think a lot of people do that because they don't feel safe in doing that. But if you can learn to do that in your early 20s, that's gonna be important for your development in your 30s and 40s. And it's gonna make sure you don't have as much regret as you did because you can work on your issues. Because obviously we all have issues, we all have problems, we've all been through things. So it's important to work on yourself and let your emotions out. Don't be, don't be scared. Just All right guys, number seven, take your work seriously, but not yourself. It's important to take your work seriously, whatever profession, school, work, home life balance, sports, take it seriously, but don't take yourself too seriously. Be nice, be giddy, be, you know, upbeat, just be kind of light and airy and just sometimes laugh at yourself, make fun of yourself sometimes. Be light, be cool, be nice, you know what I mean? It's kinda, I don't know, that's the best way to explain it. Take your work seriously, but don't take yourself seriously. That's number seven. All right guys, number eight. Live in the moment as much as you can. There's three different places people live. They live in the past, they live in the present, or they live in the future. If you live in the past, that means you're depressed or you're holding on to something. If you're living in the future, that just means you're just a super planner like me. I have that issue. If you're living in the present, you're here, you're right here, you're right now. Like I said, you're watching this video. You're here, you're enjoying the content. You're, you're getting something from it. Be in the moment. Stop just thinking about the past or the future. And that's the hardest thing to do. I have, I have a lot of trouble with that. But if guys, that's number eight. Living in the present, in the moment right now, it's super important. All right guys, those are the eight things to do in your 20s to avoid regret in your 30s and 40s. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you wrote all eight down. I can put them up here on the screen real quick. Here you go, take a screenshot, they're important. Guys, implement them in your early 20s. It's, uh, it's vital to do so. All right guys, remember to do all that fun stuff. Remember to follow me on Instagram, the link's down below. Thank you so much, I appreciate every single one of you guys. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Remember to continue to work to become the best version of yourself. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.